What's up, Hero Nation? Carlos Morrow back at you with a video. Really sorry that I have not been putting out videos like I'm supposed to. I have not had a laptop, um, and I was, you know, trying to use one of my friends' uh, computers to be able to dish out the videos, but unfortunately that wasn't the case. I now have a laptop, and I, I definitely have a lot more time to be putting out the videos that I know I want to. So basically, expect more videos I'm gonna be trying to at least because I know you guys have been waiting um, for content and again really sorry basically what I'm gonna try to do is to at least put out two videos a week maybe if not as you guys will always get one every single week okay today is chest day um, I'm headed to plan to finish right now uh, just gonna be showing you guys uh, a basic chest routine that I do when I'm there right now uh, I know I mentioned this before in the videos, but since I'm going to be dishing them out a lot more and actually I lost a bunch of weight because I recently just got sick. Basically, I'm at a point to where I was a couple months ago um, and what I want to do is basically now is going to start the three month bulk. Um, it's officially starting now. I'm going to be showing you guys what I eat um, to get there and um, how I train for that. Okay, so starting off with the incline Smith machine press. Um, a lot of people always um, complain about how much weight uh, Planet Fitness has, and I do agree that yeah, Planet Fitness should have a lot more weight. So what you can do is substitute that with different exercises, like the Smith Machine the Incline Press. A lot of people say, well, it's a Smith Machine. If you look at bodybuilders, a lot of bodybuilders, Ronnie Coleman, Jay Cutler, Rolly Winkler, all of them use the Smith Machine. Uh, it, it, it's all about how you make the muscle feel just because it's not free weight does not mean that you won't get any gains And then plus you get to go up weight uh, unlike the dumbbell. So might as well take advantage. So uh, what I did here was I Did at least three sets of 15 I like to flush a lot of blood into the muscle anytime and then I did two sets of 12 the form for this is well, um, You guys want to make sure that that at least for this time um the way that I did it was not like the way I normally do it in the sense of doing it like Arnold Schwarzenegger. This time I just did it very straightforward the way that a normal way you should do it. If you guys pay attention to my form, my forearms will be uh, straight up to the ceiling. They won't be a little bit wide, they're going to be shooting straight up and I'm aligning my elbow with the middle part of my chest. My elbows are kind of inward towards my body. They will not be uh, completely flared up because if not you get more shoulder development and then in reality you're just gonna end up hurting yourself by the last set you know I tried to go you know as heavy as I can but knowing that I still can make it to 12 reps you guys want to go ahead and make sure that each time you're hitting that 12 or that 15 but that you're handling weight that you know is gonna be relatively difficult but that you know that you're gonna be able to get through so if you guys look I'm struggling very hard and I'm trying to focus all the way through I'm not trying to just get it up there I'm trying to make sure that my upper part of my chest is doing all the work for me then right after that you go ahead and you grab a plate I started off with five and then I did ten and you're trying to squeeze that plate together as hard as you can and you're going straight up and squeezing and you guys will feel right away that the upper part of your chest is hurting real real bad i did at least two seconds on the way up so right down i go ahead and go up and go one two and then go right back down um by this point basically the more you squeeze the more uh the pain you feel and the better pain you feel hey better gains so the pain will always depend on you Right after that, I wanted to uh, decline uh, press and fly with dumbbells. Uh, this one's a little fancy. I haven't done this one in months. So what you do is that you press up like you normally would like if you were to do uh, a dumbbell press, but you fly out on the way down, um, giving you a really nasty stretch. What you want to do is make sure that you go as low as you possibly can for that fly and then you go ahead and you press up and you squeeze that bottom portion of your chest as much as possible you guys are aiming straight up okay what a lot of people do is they aim directly for the bottom part of their chest and in reality that could be like to the side and um when you look from the side it's not up so in reality you're actually kind of like hurting your shoulder so what you want to do is press straight up you still hit the bottom part of your chest but at the same time you're hitting that middle part which it allows you to even hit the upper part so technically when you do decline you're hitting every part of your chest um, 
you will not be going very heavy with this. Uh, if you guys see right here, I only went up to 50 pounds because that stretch, that fly within itself kind of hinders you from being able to do that. But even that press on the way up, you guys will be able to feel that completely. It's just, you, and by the time you guys hit 12, you guys are gonna say, wow, like that was actually surprisingly extremely difficult. Which even for me, I was like, it was awesome, but um, it does really get to you when you guys do it the right way. Make sure that you guys are stretching that chest out as much as you feel comfortable and squeezing on the way up. And then um, at the end, what I did just to flush a little bit more blood into there is that I added five reps of just normal presses um, just to add even more blood just because <laughs> for me, I liked it and it felt good. So see how you guys feel. And so right after that, we go into the Smith Machine flat, uh, flat Bench. What I did with this one is just a little bit different. Um, just, I guess, just to be a little bit more fancy this day. Um, well, I didn't normally, uh, I didn't, again, this time I wasn't doing it like Arnold, like I normally do. Uh, this time, again, if you see my forearms, they're aiming straight for the ceiling. My elbows are aligned with my nipple. They are not completely flared out. Again, we don't want that those shoulders to get in there. We want to protect our shoulders. And what you do is you count at least for two seconds and you explode on the way up. You try to go up, quote unquote, as fast as you can. But what you're trying to do is explode up, but squeeze that chest as hard as you possibly can on the way up, focusing. Um, by the end of my um, fourth set, you know, I went as heavy as I could. If you guys looked at the first clip, um, I had the locks on there, so I wasn't going as low. Um, and by this point, I really just wanted to get a really, really good stretch. So depending on how you feel, you can do either or. But basically, the, by this point, I went ahead and I just did um, two second pause reps just normally, like how you normally do it. What you guys notice is that I don't leave the bar completely on my chest. I don't want to do that. I want to still apply it. By doing that, you kind of just rest you can kind of hurt your shoulder. So by this point, I'm one, two, and then exploding up, leaving that pressure still on my chest, allowing the chest fibers to uh, stretch out and be destroyed <laughs> on that way down. And then I'm trying to explode up, focusing as much as possible that my chest is lifting that weight and not, um, and not my shoulders or my triceps. So again, humble yourself with that weight. Focus on your chest. Don't think of how much weight you can do. Think about how badly can I make, um, use my chest. And right after that, went into the pec deck. Very straight, uh, straightforward. Just uh, 15 reps. Um, if you guys look, my arms are slightly bent just because I prefer to do it that way. Um, I'm trying to get as much of a stretch as possible and I'm squeezing the upper part and the middle part of my chest as much as possible just because though at that point that's the most amount of development that I want to focus on. Um, the reason for that is just because I feel like that just um, that upper part like how Arnold used to have it I just feel like that for me I just desire that look and if you guys kind of see the upper part of my chest was pretty pumped and that's what I've always wanted just for uh, my upper chest to be more dominant than my front delts. Um, just did some posing just for the simple fact that uh, by the you know by the end of your workout you know you feel good you know you've flushed a lot of blood into the muscle so it, it kind of just by posing you kind of are able to see your weak points and be able to see what you do like and what you don't like and um, honestly I lost so much mass due to the fact like I mentioned of me being sick so you know we got some work to do but it's still exciting to see what um, you know what, what stayed and what didn't stay so. We're gonna do the pec deck one more time. This time it was just 12, um, 12 to 15 reps. Um, if you guys look, I'm trying to keep my chest out completely and I'm trying to uh, keep my shoulders, my front delts away from there. If you notice, or if you ever record yourself and you see that you're, the most you see when you contract that your chest is your shoulders, then you know you wanna avoid that if you want your chest to be very dominant. And that's just what I've always wanted. I've always wanted that, that my chest to be one of the first things that people notice, especially on chest day. I mean, you don't wanna do chest day and someone say, oh wow, your shoulders look great or your triceps, no. <laughs> so I only did three sets of that. And then the last um, exercise that I did was just cable flies, just to hit that bottom portion one more time. Um, my mindset of when I'm doing the cables is that when I'm at the top of the movement I contract the upper part 
all the way down to the bottom so I do upper to bottom upper to bottom each time just because I feel like again I'm want to focus on every part of my chest and that's where I feel like honestly where I've had better chest development is just focusing like that and humbling myself down with weight um, you'll notice with a lot of movements just because you're aiming for the middle part of your chest does not mean that's the only portion that gets pumped or where you feel it or whatever the case may be it's always where you focus so if you guys look the not it, it when I'm squeezing it it doesn't look like just the bottom of my por of my chest is being contracted it looks like the whole chest is being contracted but at the end of the movement um, that's where I'm really focusing like in my um, in the bottom part so I recommend that for you start off very light um, and see how you feel again that squeezing and the contractions always matter for you so it doesn't matter how much weight you really handle it depends on how you make it feel and by the end you know this is how I look um, really gonna focus on that chest gonna work on, on my legs um, I feel like my biceps need a lot better development um, but as far as uh, everything else, I kind of like it. Gun, um, my rear delts are coming in. Um, this week, uh, next video is going to be back. A very big thing that I need to work on. So I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see. Uh, comment and subscribe. Please share if you guys like this video. Uh, let me know what you guys don't like. Um, again, this YouTube is for you guys. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll give you guys the best of me. See you guys soon.